Hey guys, Mike here. So I just thought I would show you uh, somewhat quickly a little project that I've been working on. What we have here is a basic MIDI controller that I created, which consists of four slide potentiometers, which we can see on the bottom, four rotary potentiometers up top, and then 32 buttons in a 4x8 setup, as well as a single button, which can be seen up top over here. The 4x8 setup are actually two uh, trellis boards which are made by Adafruit um, which really simplified the entire setup of all of this. The entire thing is ran off of a single Arduino Leonardo. So first thing I, I thought I would do is kind of show you the, the software. So this is just a, an example. This is the software I'm using. Uh, right now I just have three layers set up here but this would normally be set with four. So each one of these are one of the buttons. So what I wanted to be able to do was very easily trigger these clips and adjust these sliders as well as these uh, controls with a hardware versus using a, a mouse or a keyboard. Now what you're seeing right now up here in the output monitor is what would go out to a, another display. So it was important that I could not only trigger those, but also be able to trigger the preview monitors, which is what you see down here. This allows me to see a clip before I make it live. Be the reason for that extra button. I need a very easy way to do this, so I decided to create this button is a channel selector, so I can go from channel one to channel two, which allows these buttons to go from preview mode to live mode. Now that we understand what the MIDI controller needs to be able to do, thankfully I had someone who was taking care of all of the programming for me so I could focus on the design of the unit itself. The best tip I can give someone who's designing something usable like this that has a lot of different components is to do a little bit of research and try to find those components in a format that you can import into your software. So what I was able to actually do was for my slide potentiometers from the manufacturer was actually find STP files which I was able to import. Another great website as well for this is GrabCAD which I also used for the Leonardo board as well as the other potentiometers. This makes it very easy to begin modeling the other parts as you can see I had done here. Now the buttons that you see here are files from Adafruit which again helped me make sure that the top was correct and my spacing was going to be correct as well. Now originally when I started to design this I thought maybe I would 3D print the entire enclosure but once I started laying things out here I found out very quickly that this would be too large to be able to print. So I went another route and had uh, a friend of mine help me out and actually see and see this out of black acrylic for me. Now because this was getting CNC'd and that was taking place across the country for me I couldn't cut a piece, test it, and cut another piece. So what I decided to do instead was to take the full design of the top and break it down into parts that could be printed so I could get a rough idea of the tolerances. From here I went ahead and created SVG files from these sketches that could be sent to the CNC machine. I got in the top and bottom pieces I was able to design a little bit more of the 3D printed parts that held the slide potentiometers in place as well as the trellis boards. The final thing I 3D printed were the knobs for the slide potentiometers. Oddly enough it was hard to find ones that were sized correctly for the potentiometers and that I liked the feel of so I went ahead and found a few files on Thingiverse 3D printed them and then painted the tops of them with a enamel paint. These colors coordinate as well with the colors of the LEDs on each layer of the 32 buttons.